Hello everybody, uh, so this video is for intermediate or upper intermediate people doing English. So my classes for on Mondays and Fridays and anybody else who's interested. Um, so welcome to spring in England. It is absolutely freezing but that won't stop us anyways. Um, Jermaine, uh, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself a little bit? Uh, my name's Jermaine. Kerry's brother. Brother. Sis brother. <laughs> I was going to say sister then. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're going to be talking about um, driving experiences today. Um, and Jermaine's going to tell us about his um, experience passing his driving tests, whether or not he did it the first go and all of that. Um, can you, how was it learning to drive for you? Um, I like learning to drive, obviously, for the freedom you get. Okay. And being able to just get out and go wherever you want to go. Alright, okay. Because where we live at where we lived, I don't live there anymore. Um it's actually quite a small um town. So um but not going to talk about that. I'm sticking to um the driving experience. How long did it take you to actually learn to drive? Um I started when I was seventeen in January uh -huh. and passed in November. Okay. So, how many months that is? Okay. That is actually quite quick. It took me years. Uh, I'm a good driver. <laughs> Did you pass the first time round? Uh, no, I. On the first time round, I failed for mechanical failure. Okay. Because the car broke, as okay. such. And so he, my driving instructor, paid for my second lesson, in which I passed. How lucky is that? Anyways, um, right. Um, have you heard of anyone who it's taken a long time to, who took a very long time to pass their test? My sister. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from me, I mean. <laughs> Okay, it took me absolutely ages, but um, I'm special. I'm left-handed. Does that count? Um, anyways, um, can you remember any sort of negative experiences you've had on the road? Um, I've had one accident in the snow. Okay. But How... it was only a bump. Okay. Literally a bump, so... Okay. But I actually thought that you had a accident, accident, like a real accident, because I remember... Yeah, when I was 11, I, I was run over. That's what you meant. You ran over when you were 11? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you word? Yes, I was. Really? That's mum. Okay, <laughs> tell me about that because I, I don't remember that. Really? No. Um, it's the last day of primary school. Okay. I was rushing to get to the, the party and I ran out in the road and got run over. Vaguely. I vaguely remember that, <laughs> but I'm um, not very well. But Anyways, I'm still here. He's, he's, he's alive. Okay, um, so for you, do you think learning is a very important um, part of life in general? Because I lived for years without actually having a driver's license. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Definitely. How yeah. did it change your life? I can get away from mum and you. <laughs> I'm in Spain. <laughs> Why do you want to get away from me? No, it did. Just, just like I said, the freedom. Oh, okay. But they should really teach you how to drive on the motorway in your lessons. Oh, okay. They do in Spain. Oh, do they? Yeah. Not in the UK. All right, okay. Um, any advice for young learners um, who might be having their driving tests or just lessons? Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And don't run out in front of the road if you're um, a passenger, if Jermaine is driving, right? On foot. On foot. Son ran me over. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't the other way around. Okay. All right. Well, um, thank you very much. And I will see you. Same people. Goodbye. Adios.